then includes in the package the user manual. An assortment of labels which are sized for USPS shipping labels. And a USB flash drive that has the drivers, the print drivers on, including for Mac. It also includes the power cords and the power adapter and a USB cable and the printer itself which I might add is relatively heavy um, for its size uh, you can see compared to my hands it's it's very compact which is nice for taking up that precious desk real estate and the one that I received is white with a gray trim and I was impressed that some of their packaging was labeled that it is uh, com compostable not all of it but some and then it came with a quick tip uh, with QR codes as you can see here I'm using the Munbin uh, pink and white print label stand and that works really well because it does have a uh, spacing underneath the stand that allows you to place the cables and so after a little bit of maneuvering to try to get everything out of the way because you want those cables out of the way of the printer because of, of the labels because you want them feeding in straight nice and straight and even and you have to firmly press and hold the button in order to calibrate. If you press it lightly, it'll only feed the labels forward. A nice feature after it calibrates is it goes back to the first label in the stack, which is so I scanned the QR code that shows that takes you to the video on how to actually create and print the shipping labels. And it worked really great. Um, you have to have Adobe Acrobat Reader, and I'm using a Mac, which can be a little different for some users. And here you're seeing the round stickers, so I'm calibrating the stickers. So here I'm setting up to print, and you want to make sure that your size is 2x2, two two, and then change any margins. But yes, everyone runs into user error, and I have that right here, because you want to make sure that your size is not set to fit, but that it's set to actual size or 100%, or this will happen to you. Um, rather disappointing when you're like, uh, what I do? I bought the printer and labels myself, so there's no sponsors on this video. I am not an overly tech-savvy person, but managed to make it work out. The U.S. postal labels were the easiest to use. The issue I had with the two-inch color thermal stickers from Munbin was centering them. The edges cut off a little bit. I will need to play with them more, but I'm overall pleased with the results. Canva is helpful for laptop design, but not necessary, and it's pretty easy to use. The pros, the setup is easy, everything is included. The only thing you need to work with a Mac is a USB-C adapter to USB. The cons, the Bluetooth works only on mobile devices such as tablets and phones. You need the cable to connect to a PC or laptop. On the blue color labels, there was some bleeding as shown here. And I wasn't pleased with that, but I think that I can make it work. There's going to need to be some font adjustments. So would I recommend it? Um, yes, I would. This is great for printing shipple labels, yes. But as you see here, using the Bluetooth app, I was able to print out this little sewing machine label, and that took a matter of less than a minute, so it's really easy to use, easy to use their app. So I definitely recommend it. Thank you for watching.